we all know what's been happening the last four years at West New York. And the reality is we haven't seen nothing. And like people were saying in there, they haven't seen the mayor, the mayor hasn't done anything. And now there's got to be a change and I'm ready to make that change. So look, we've heard from uh, the former congressman and he's talked about a new library, he's talked about a media center, he's talked about a new school. What do you think about these possible proposals? I think they're all great ideas, but listen, you cannot build a new school knowing that you don't have good security in the town. And I'm a military man. The first thing you, know, you, you do in the Army is you set up a perimeter. And that's what I need to do. I need to bring more police, more protection, not only for the schools, and you know the drug dealers are out there trying to poison our children with all this synthetic fentanyl and all these drugs. You know that our seniors are exposed daily to you know, kids going in there and going into their apartment and mugging them outside the, the senior building. So the first thing to do is set up a perimeter, set up a good security, hire more police officers, and bring back, like I always say, the respect that the police officers deserve. All right. Now, tell us a little bit about your two running mates you announced tonight, Tommy Banyan and Carmen Baez. Well, Carmen Baez is the Dominican-born. She's been in this country for 26 years. She's got two older boys, and she works in the real estate market. So she's another person that I interviewed, and she came across like a good, well-hearted person that wants to uh, betterment for her, her kids. And that's what this is all about, she says. And she joined me, and I'm extremely happy to have her there. Tommy Mannion. You know, Tommy's an old uh, veteran, been in the police force many years, a PBA president. And Tommy is part of that security that I'm talking about. We need to make sure with Tommy's help that we could give uh, security to our kids in the school, making sure that they are protected when they leave the school and start locking up all those drug dealers uh, that are surrounding and poisoning our youth. And he's going to help us with that. we got to set more security in our senior centers and get rid of those uh, hoodlums that are, you know, hurting our town and our children. So in 2019, obviously, you gave it a go. Uh, it did work out. I'll be a series backed another ticket. And uh, why do you think this time will be different? Very simple. For the last four years, who's been running the show at West New York? The answer is I'll be a series. So if he hasn't done anything in four years, you're going to tell me he's going to do other things the next couple of years? The answer is no. Look, he, he's very well-hearted. Uh, but that's all I can tell you. I cannot talk negative about him, and I'm, that's not my intention. My goal is to make sure that the taxpayers get what they deserve. Continue keeping the taxes stable, clean streets, get rid of all those hoodlums that are they're harassing our children and their seniors, and make West New York grow. 